Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the world of coin collecting and taking a close look at the 1964 D Mint Mark Lincoln Penny. If you're a collector or simply curious about the value of some old coins, this is the video for you. Stick around because you might be surprised at how much this little penny could be worth. Let's start with a bit of history. The 1964 Lincoln Penny was struck at two U.S. Mint locations, Philadelphia and Denver. The one we're focusing on today is from the Denver Mint, easily identified by the small D mint mark just below the date. Over 3.8 billion of these pennies were produced at the Denver Mint, making them relatively common. But here's the thing, just because a coin is common doesn't mean it can't hold value. There are several factors that collectors look for when determining the worth of a coin like this, first, let's talk about what makes the 1964 D penny stand out. This coin, like all Lincoln pennies, is made primarily of copper, with 95% copper and 5% zinc. What really gets collectors excited, though, are the variations and potential errors that might have occurred during production. One of the key features to look for is the condition of the coin. A well-preserved, uncirculated 1964D penny can fetch a higher price than a worn-down, circulated one. Collectors use a grading system, and pennies in higher grades, those with less wear and tear, are much more valuable. If you happen to find a 1964 D penny that looks pristine, with its original luster and few, if any, marks or scratches, you might have something special on your hands. Another factor that can drive up the value of the 1964 D penny is if it has any errors or die varieties. Error coins are always highly sought after because they're rare. In the case of the 1964 D penny, one known error is the double die variety. This occurs when the die used to strike the coin shifts, causing the design to be stamped twice. If you find a 1964 D penny with doubled features, especially in the date, mint mark, or Lincoln's portrait, that could significantly boost its value. Some of these error pennies have sold for hundreds of dollars at auctions, so it's definitely worth checking out. Now, let's get to the part you're probably most interested in, how much is a 1964 D Lincoln penny worth in today's market? If you have a circulated 1964 D penny in average condition, it's probably worth just about its face value, one cent. There are millions out there, so unless yours is in exceptional shape, it's not going to make you rich. However, if you find a 1964 D penny in uncirculated condition, its value can range from a few dollars to around $15 or more, depending on its grade. And as we mentioned earlier, error coins or coins with unusual characteristics can be worth even more. Some have been known to sell for $100 or more, especially if they're authenticated and graded by professional services. So, how can you determine if your 1964 D penny is valuable? The first thing you'll want to do is carefully examine it. Look for any signs of doubling, check the mint mark, and take note of the overall condition. If you think you've found a coin that might be worth more than a few cents, it's a good idea to have it professionally graded. Services like PCGS or NGC can authenticate your coin and give it a grade, which will help you determine its true market value. You can also check online auctions or coin marketplaces to see what similar pennies are selling for. This will give you a good idea of what to expect if you decide to sell. In conclusion, while the 1964 D Lincoln penny may not be an extremely rare coin, it still has the potential to hold some value, especially if it's in great condition or has any unique errors. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, it's always worth checking your old coins. You never know what hidden treasures you might find. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video or learned something new, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more content on coin collecting and rare finds. Have any 1964 D pennies in your collection? Let us know in the comments below. We're diving deep into a very special coin, the 2007 D Lincoln penny. You might think it's just another penny in your change jar, but you'd be surprised to know that some of these coins are worth much more than their face value. That's right, certain 2007 D Lincoln pennies have captured the attention of collectors and can fetch impressive amounts in the market. So, what makes this coin so special? Stick around, and we'll break it all down for you. Before we jump into the details about the 2007 D penny, let's quickly talk about the Lincoln penny itself. The Lincoln cent was first introduced in 1909 to honor the 100th anniversary of Abraham Lincoln's birth. Designed by Victor David Brenner, it was the first U.S. coin to feature a president's portrait. 
Over the years, the Lincoln penny has undergone several design changes, but it remains one of the most collected coins in US history. Now, let's focus on the 2007 D Lincoln penny. This coin was minted at the Denver Mint, hence the D Mint mark. Over 3 billion of these pennies were produced in 2007, making them relatively common. However, it's not just the quantity that determines a coin's value, other factors like rarity, condition, and demand play a huge role in determining how much a penny is worth. As with any coin, the condition of the 2007 D. Lincoln penny is crucial. Coins that are in mint state or uncirculated condition are always more valuable than those that have been heavily circulated. Collectors often look for pennies with minimal wear, clear details, and no significant scratches or damage. Grading services like PCGS and NGC are commonly used to assess a coin's condition on a scale of 1 to 70, with 70 being perfect. A 2007 D. Lincoln penny in mint condition can easily fetch more than face value. Another reason why certain 2007 D. pennies are worth more is due to errors or varieties. Sometimes, during the minting process, mistakes can occur, such as doubling on the design, die cracks, or off-center strikes. These errors make the coin unique, and collectors are willing to pay a premium for these rare finds. Be sure to check your 2007 D pennies carefully for any unusual features that could make them more valuable. Point 3. While most pennies today are made primarily of zinc with a thin copper coating, earlier pennies were made of solid copper. Although the 2007 D penny is not made of copper, the rising price of metals over the years has still made pennies an interesting subject for collectors. This doesn't directly affect the value of the 2007 D penny, but it's something to keep in mind as you build your coin collection. So, what's the current market value of a 2007 D Lincoln penny? Well, a standard 2007 D penny in circulated condition is still worth about one cent. However, if you have one in pristine, uncirculated condition, its value can range anywhere from a few cents to a few dollars. And if you're lucky enough to find one with an error, the value can skyrocket. For example, a 2007 D penny with a significant error like a double die or off-center strike has been known to sell for $50 or more at auction. Some rare varieties can even fetch prices upwards of $100. It all depends on the rarity of the error and the demand among collectors. If you're interested in finding a valuable 2007 D penny, start by going through your own change. You never know what you might find. You can also check out coin shows, online auctions, and local coin shops. Be sure to look for pennies that are in excellent condition or that display any unique errors or varieties. If you happen to find a valuable 2007 D. Lincoln penny, you'll want to take good care of it. Coin collectors recommend storing your pennies in protective holders or coin albums to prevent them from being damaged. Avoid cleaning your coins, as this can decrease their value. And if you're serious about getting your coin professionally graded, Consider sending it to a reputable grading service. So, there you have it, the 2007 D. Lincoln penny might be worth a lot more than just one cent. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just getting started, always keep an eye out for coins that are in great condition or have rare errors. Who knows, you might just have a valuable treasure sitting in your pocket change right now. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more coin collecting tips and insights. Let us know in the comments if you've come across any rare pennies, and we'll see you in the next video. We're focusing on a coin that's over 90 years old, the 1925 No Mint Mark Lincoln Penny. This seemingly ordinary penny from the past can be a true treasure in your collection. If you've ever come across one of these, you'll want to know just how much it could be worth today. Let's break down its history, rarity, and market value. The 1925 Lincoln Penny is a part of the long-running Lincoln Wheat series, first minted in 1909 to honor the 100th anniversary of Abraham Lincoln's birth. The design features a profile of Lincoln on the obverse, or front side, with the words, In God We Trust, above his head, Liberty to the left, and the year of minting, 1925 in this case, on the right. The reverse side shows the famous wheat stalks flanking the denomination one cent and the phrase E Pluribus Unum. The no mint mark on this coin means it was produced at the Philadelphia Mint, the oldest mint in the U.S., and unlike other mints, Philadelphia typically did not place a mint mark on its coins. This absence of a mint mark is crucial to understanding this penny's identity and value. Now, you might be wondering, why is the 1925 no-mint mark Lincoln penny worth more than just one cent today? 
The value of any coin is influenced by several factors, including its rarity, condition, and demand among collectors. Although the Philadelphia Mint struck over 139 million Lincoln pennies in 1925, making this coin relatively common, the value comes from finding one in pristine condition. Most coins from this period have seen extensive circulation, so finding one in excellent condition is a rare treat. Coins that have been well preserved, with sharp details and minimal wear, are highly sought after by collectors. If you have one of these in your possession, the condition it's in can significantly increase its market value. Let's talk about grading. Coin collectors and dealers use a grading scale to determine a coin's condition, ranging from poor to mint state. For the 1925 Lincoln penny, the most common grades you'll find are in good to very fine condition. However, if you're lucky enough to have a coin in extremely fine or higher, you could be looking at a much higher value. In mint state, meaning the coin has never been in circulation and has retained all its original detail and luster, a 1925 Lincoln penny can fetch a significantly higher price. Imagine finding one with no visible wear, sharp lines in Lincoln's hair, and fully detailed wheat stocks on the reverse, this kind of condition can dramatically raise the coin's value. So, what is the market value of a 1925 no mint mark Lincoln penny today? For a coin in average circulated condition, you're generally looking at a value between $1 and a few dollars. This might not sound like a fortune, but for a coin that originally cost just one cent, it's already an impressive increase. However, if your penny is in extremely fine condition or better, the value can climb into the range of $10 to $20 or more, depending on the specific grade and appeal to collectors. In some cases, high-grade examples have been sold at auctions for even higher amounts, especially if the coin exhibits particularly strong eye appeal with no major flaws. It's important to note that the coin market can fluctuate based on demand and the availability of well-preserved examples, so it's always a good idea to have your coin professionally appraised if you believe it could be in mint state. The 1925 no-mint Mark Lincoln penny may have started as just a simple one-cent coin, but today, it's much more than that for collectors and coin enthusiasts. While its common circulated versions are modestly valued, finding one in exceptional condition can turn this penny into a small but valuable treasure. If you happen to own a 1925 penny, take a close look at its condition and consider having it graded by a professional. Who knows, you might just have a coin worth more than you ever expected. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more insights into rare and valuable coins. And as always, keep searching, because you never know what treasures you might find in your pocket change. See you in the next. We're diving into a fascinating coin that could be hiding in your pocket change, the 1968 No Mint Mark Lincoln Penny. You might be surprised to know that this penny could be worth more than its face value. In fact, collectors are willing to pay top dollar for certain examples of this coin. So, if you want to know why this seemingly ordinary penny is in such high demand and how you can identify one, stick around. Before we jump into what makes this penny valuable, let's first take a quick look at its history. The 1968 Lincoln penny features the iconic design by Victor David Brenner, with Abraham Lincoln on the obverse, or head side, and the Lincoln Memorial on the reverse. This design was introduced in 1959 to commemorate the 150th anniversary of Lincoln's birth and replaced the previous wheat penny design now, here's where things get interesting. In 1968, the U.S. Mint produced pennies at three different mints, Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco. The pennies minted in Denver and San Francisco carry a small D or S mint mark, indicating where they were struck. But the Philadelphia Mint didn't use a mint mark on its coins in 1968. So, if you have a 1968 penny without a mint mark, it was minted in Philadelphia. You might be wondering why is a 1968 penny without a mint mark special? After all, there were millions produced at the Philadelphia Mint. The key to its value lies in its condition, rarity, and demand among collectors. First, let's talk about condition. Coins are graded on a scale from 1 to 70, with 70 being a perfect, flawless coin. The higher the grade, the more valuable the coin. A well-preserved 1968 no mint mark penny that hasn't been worn down from circulation can be worth much more than a penny that's scratched or discolored and next, rarity plays a role. While millions of these pennies were minted, finding one in excellent condition is a lot harder than it sounds. Most pennies from 1968 have been heavily circulated, meaning they show signs of wear and tear. However, if you find one in mint or near mint condition, you're looking at a much more valuable coin. Finally, there's collector demand. 
Certain coins become popular with collectors, and the 1968 no mint mark penny is one of those. It's a key day for some collectors who are trying to complete their Lincoln penny collections, especially if the coin is in pristine condition. So, how much is a 1968 no mint mark penny worth today? The value of this coin can vary depending on its condition. In circulated condition, meaning it has been used in everyday transactions, it's typically worth face value, which is one cent. However, if you find one in uncirculated or mint state condition, it can be worth more for example, a 1968 no mint mark penny in near perfect condition, graded MS65 or higher, can sell for around $1 or more. While that might not sound like a huge amount, remember that you're talking about a single penny that could be worth a hundred times its face value. Now, if you have a proof coin, which is a special coin struck with a high level of detail, those can fetch even higher prices. Proof versions of the 1968 penny can be worth several dollars or more, depending on their condition. So, what should you be looking for if you want to find a valuable 1968 no mint mark penny? There are a few things to keep an eye on a one. As I mentioned earlier, condition is everything when it comes to coin collecting. Look for a penny with minimal wear, sharp details, and no major scratches or discoloration. Point two. A penny that still has its original mint luster, that shiny, almost reflective surface, is much more desirable to collectors. If your penny has a nice sheen to it, that's a good sign. Point three. Check the coin for a strong, clean strike. Coins that were struck with more detail tend to be worth more especially in higher grades. Point four. While not as common, some 1968 pennies may have minting errors, such as off-center strikes or doubling of the design. These types of errors can significantly increase the value of the coin.so. There you have it, the 1968 no mint mark Lincoln penny may look like an ordinary coin, but it could be worth more than you think, especially if it's in great condition. If you have a jar of old pennies lying around, it might be worth your time to take a closer look. You never know if you could be holding on to a penny that's worth a dollar or more. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more coin related content. Let me know in the comments if you found any valuable coins in your collection. See you next time, and. We're diving into a coin that may seem ordinary at first glance, but could be worth far more than you expect the 1991 No Mint Mark Lincoln Penny. Yes, that's right, this seemingly common penny could have a market value worth looking into, so let's explore why collectors are paying attention to this particular coin before we dive into the details. Let's start with a little background. The 1991 Lincoln penny is part of the long-running Lincoln Sense series that began in 1909. By 1991, millions of these pennies were produced, so why would a no-mint mark version stand out and be valuable? Well, let's break it down. First, the no mint mark Lincoln pennies were produced at the Philadelphia Mint, which didn't include a mint mark on its coins at the time. While this is common, collectors are often on the lookout for pennies that have unique features, errors, or rare conditions, and that's where this coin becomes more interesting. What makes the 1991 no mint mark penny potentially valuable comes down to a few key factors. The first factor is the condition of the coin. If you have a 1991 penny that looks like it just left the mint, with sharp details and no signs of wear, that's what collectors call a mint state condition. The closer your coin is to mint state, the more valuable it is and next, let's talk about scarcity. While billions of these pennies were made, only a small fraction are in pristine condition today. The 1991 no mint mark Lincoln pennies that have been well preserved over the years are the ones that are fetching higher prices on the market. It's not just about having a 1991 penny, it's about having one that stands out in quality now. Onto the million dollar question, how much is this penny actually worth? In most cases, a circulated 1991 no mint mark penny is still just worth face value, one cent. However, if you happen to have a penny in mint state, especially one graded by a professional service, it could be worth much more. These high quality examples have sold for several dollars, depending on the grade, with some even reaching prices in the tens of dollars, while we're not talking about millions of dollars like some rare error coins. It's still worth checking your 1991 pennies, especially if you have one that looks almost brand new. A penny that looks perfect to the naked eye but also holds up under magnification could fetch a nice price from the right collector. Speaking of errors, while the 1991 no mint mark penny is not known for major minting mistakes, it's always good practice to inspect any coin for possible errors. Look for doubling, off-center strikes, or other unusual features. 
these errors can dramatically increase a coin's value. In fact, error pennies from other years have sold for hundreds or even thousands of dollars, so always keep an eye out for anything that seems out of the ordinary. So, how can you find out if your 1991 no mint mark penny is valuable? The first step is to carefully inspect the coin's condition. If it looks mint, consider getting it graded by a professional coin grading service, such as PCGS or NGC. A coin in top condition that is certified by one of these companies can be worth significantly more than one that's not graded. Finally, keep in mind that the market for coins can fluctuate. While a 1991 penny might not seem like a gold mine today, trends in coin collecting can change, and who knows, one day it could be even more sought after. In summary, if you have a 1991 no mint mark Lincoln penny, it's worth taking a closer look. The condition of the coin is key, and while most circulated pennies from that year are still worth one cent, High-quality examples can bring in several dollars. If you're a collector or simply someone who loves the thrill of finding hidden treasure in your spare change, this is one penny you won't want to overlook thanks for tuning in, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more coin collecting tips and discoveries. We're diving into a coin that's often overlooked but holds a special place in the hearts of collectors, the 1966 Lincoln penny with no mint mark. You might have come across this penny in your pocket change or coin jar, and today, we're going to uncover why this coin, despite its common appearance, can be worth a little more than face value. Let's talk about what makes this penny special and why it's currently valued at around a dollar right now. Before we dive into the details, let's start with some background. The Lincoln penny, or Lincoln cent, was first introduced in 1909 to celebrate the 100th anniversary of Abraham Lincoln's birth. This design, featuring the iconic image of Lincoln on the obverse, was created by sculptor Victor David Brenner. Over the years, the Lincoln penny has undergone a few design changes, but the one-cent coin remains a symbol of American history and a favorite among collectors. So, what's the deal with the 1966 Lincoln penny? First off, if you've got a 1966 penny and you're wondering why there's no mint mark, that's completely normal. In fact, none of the pennies minted in 1965, 1966, or 1967 have mint marks. This was due to a temporary measure taken by the U.S. Mint to discourage coin hoarding during the mid-1960s coin shortage. By omitting mint marks, they hoped to reduce speculation on coins from different mints. As a result, you won't find any D4 Denver or S4 San Francisco on pennies from these years. Every penny minted during this period came out of the Philadelphia Mint.so, with no mint mark and millions of these coins produced, why is the 1966 Lincoln penny worth more than face value? Well, there are a few factors. First, even though millions of these coins were minted, finding one in excellent condition, meaning a coin with very little wear and tear, can be tricky. Pennies from everyday circulation tend to get pretty beat up over time. If you come across a 1966 penny in uncirculated or near uncirculated condition, it's much rarer and can be worth more to collectors. Coins in great condition, with minimal scratches, dings, or tarnish, can fetch a price of about $1. But remember, coin grading plays a big role here. If your 1966 penny is graded by a professional service like PCGS or NGC and receives a high grade, its value could even go higher. The highest grade a coin can receive is MS70 which means it's in perfect condition. While finding a 1966 Lincoln penny in MS70 is extremely rare, even a coin-graded MS65 can be worth more than its face value. Another thing to keep in mind is the historical significance of this period. The mid-1960s was a time of change in U.S. coinage, as silver was being phased out from coins like quarters and dimes. This shift added more attention to coins of that era, including pennies. Collectors love to complete sets from specific years, and the 1966 penny is a must-have for anyone putting together a collection of Lincoln cents from the 1960s. Now, if you've got a 1966 penny and you're curious about its value, here's a quick tip. Take a close look at the coin's condition. Does it have a lot of wear? Are there any noticeable scratches or marks? Or does it look shiny and almost brand new? The closer it is to mint condition, the more valuable it is. Even circulated coins with minimal wear can still be worth around a dollar, which is a pretty good return on a penny. Remember, not every 1966 penny is going to be worth more than its face value. Most pennies from that year are still worth just one cent. But if you happen to have one that's in excellent condition, 
it's definitely worth hanging on to or even getting professionally graded if you're serious about coin collecting so, what should you do if you found a 1966 Lincoln penny with no mint mark? First, don't overlook it. Check its condition carefully. If it looks like it's in good shape, you might want to consider adding it to your collection or selling it to a coin dealer. And even if it's only worth around a dollar, that's still a nice little bonus for a coin you might have found in your pocket change. The 1966 Lincoln penny is a great example of how even common coins can hold a little extra value. Whether you're a seasoned coin collector or just starting out, it's always exciting to discover hidden gems in your everyday change. And who knows? That penny sitting at the bottom of your drawer might just be worth more than you think. Thanks for joining me today to learn more about the 1966 No Mint Mark Lincoln Penny. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more coin collecting tips and insights. And as always, keep an eye on your change, you never know what valuable coins might be hiding in plain sight. We're diving into the fascinating world of coin collecting and specifically talking about the 1982 Lincoln Penny with No Mint Mark. This coin may look like an ordinary penny at first glance, but it holds some surprising value in the market today. If you're a collector or just curious about the hidden gems in your pocket change, you're going to want to stick around to learn more about this rare and valuable coin first, let's talk about the basics of the 1982 Lincoln Penny. It was a special year in US coinage because it marked a major transition for the penny. Until 1982, Lincoln pennies were made of 95% copper. However, due to rising copper prices, the U.S. Mint decided to switch the composition of the penny to a copper-plated zinc version to reduce production costs. What makes the 1982 penny particularly interesting is that both copper and zinc pennies were minted during the same year, and there are several varieties, including large-date and small-date versions, as well as pennies produced with and without mint marks. The ones minted in Philadelphia have no mint mark, which is what we're focusing on today. So, what makes the 1982 Lincoln penny with no mint mark worth more than just a penny? The main reason comes down to its composition and condition. There are both copper and zinc versions of the 1982 penny, and collectors are always on the lookout for the copper variety. The copper pennies weigh 3.11 grams, while the zinc pennies weigh only 2.5 grams. A rare copper version of the 1982 penny in uncirculated or near-perfect condition can fetch a much higher price than its zinc counterpart. On top of that, the 1982 pennies are notoriously difficult to sort through because of the large number of varieties produced that year. Finding a high-quality copper penny with no mint mark in your pocket change or collection is like hitting a small jackpot, you might be wondering how to tell if the 1982 penny you have is one of the more valuable ones. The first step is to weigh the coin. If it weighs 3.11 grams, congratulations, you've got the copper version. If it weighs 2.5 grams, it's the more common zinc version, which is less valuable but still worth holding on to if it's in good condition. Next, you'll want to look at the date to see if you have a large date or small date version. Although this may seem minor, some collectors prefer one over the other, and having the right combination of date size, weight, and mint condition can significantly affect the coin's value. Now let's get to the exciting part, the market value. A 1982 Lincoln penny with no mint mark, especially the copper version, can be worth anywhere from a few cents to a few dollars, depending on its condition. If you have a well-preserved, uncirculated version of this penny, it could be worth even more. In fact, some of these coins have been known to sell for several hundred dollars at auctions, the value of the 1982 penny largely depends on demand from collectors. As more people become aware of the different varieties of this coin, its rarity and value continue to increase. So, if you happen to come across a 1982 penny with no mint mark, it might be worth setting aside and doing a little research on its potential value. To wrap things up, the 1982 no mint mark Lincoln penny is more than just a piece of pocket change. With its historical significance, multiple varieties, and potential for a high market value, this coin is definitely worth checking your collection for. Remember, whether it's copper or zinc, large date or small date, finding a well-preserved 1982 penny could be a nice addition to any coin collection or even a profitable discovery. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more coin collecting tips and rare coin discoveries, and leave a comment below if you have any questions or want to share your own experiences with rare pennies. Thanks for watching and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of Lincoln pennies. Specifically, we'll be talking about the 1951 No Mint Mark Lincoln Penny. 
This little coin might look ordinary at first glance, but it has some interesting qualities that make it highly collectible and valuable in the market. So, if you've got a 1951 penny lying around, you might want to stick around and find out how much it could be worth before we dive into the value. Let's talk about the history behind the 1951 Lincoln penny. The Lincoln cent was first introduced in 1909 to commemorate the 100th anniversary of Abraham Lincoln's birth. It became one of the longest running coin series in American history. By 1951, the design still featured the iconic portrait of Lincoln on the obverse, designed by Victor D. E. Brenner. The reverse side featured two wheat stocks, which gave these coins their nickname, wheat pennies. In 1951, the U.S. Mint produced over 284 million Lincoln pennies at the Philadelphia Mint, which is why these coins don't have a mint mark. Pennies minted in Philadelphia during this time were known for their lack of a mint mark, distinguishing them from pennies minted in other locations like Denver or San Francisco. The 1951 no mint mark Lincoln penny is made of 95% copper and 5% tin and zinc. It weighs about 3.11 grams, with a diameter of 19 millimeters. The coin has a reeded edge, and as mentioned, the obverse side features the bust of Abraham Lincoln. On the reverse, you'll see the words one cent and United States of America, flanked by two wheat stalks, a design that would be replaced by the Lincoln Memorial in 1959 that now, what makes the 1951 Lincoln penny so valuable? While the coin was minted in large numbers, not all pennies from this era are created equal. The value of a 1951 penny depends heavily on its condition and rarity. The better the condition, the higher the price it can fetch in the market. Coins in pristine condition, those that have never circulated or show very little wear, are referred to as uncirculated and are highly sought after by collectors. I, in addition to condition, there are also certain varieties or errors that can make a 1951 penny worth more. For example, some 1951 pennies may have slight variations in the design or minting process, and these rare varieties can fetch premium prices at auction.so. What's the market value of a 1951 no mint mark Lincoln penny today? If you have a penny in average circulated condition, meaning it has seen some wear and tear but is still in decent shape, it's typically worth around 5 to 10 cents. However, if your penny is in uncirculated condition, the value jumps significantly. An uncirculated 1951 penny can be worth anywhere from $1 to $5, depending on the grade. For example, a 1951 penny in mint condition, graded MS65, could fetch around $5 or more from collectors. Even higher grade examples, such as those graded MS67, could potentially reach values of $50 or more, although these are much rarer. Additionally, any coin with unique minting errors, such as a double die or off center strike, can command significantly higher prices. These error coins are highly prized by collectors and could be worth hundreds or even thousands of dollars, depending on the type and severity of the error. If you have a 1951 no mint mark Lincoln penny and want to know if it's valuable, there are a few things to look for. First, check the overall condition of the coin. Does it have sharp details on Lincoln's portrait? Are the words and design elements on the reverse still crisp? If your coin has minimal wear and tear, it could be worth more than just face value. Next, look for any signs of minting errors. These could include things like doubling in the text or design, off-center strikes, or other unusual markings. If you're not sure, it's always a good idea to have your coin professionally graded by a third-party grading service like PCGS or NGC. They can give you an expert opinion on the coin's condition and value in conclusion. While the 1951 no mint mark Lincoln penny may not seem like much at first glance, it's definitely worth taking a closer look at. With its historical significance, copper composition, and potential for high-grade examples, this coin can be a hidden gem in your collection. If you happen to find one in uncirculated condition or with a unique error, you could be sitting on a coin worth much more than just a penny. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about coin collecting and rare coins, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Let us know in the comments if you found any interesting coins recently, and we'll see you in the next video. We're diving into a particular gem of American numismatics, the 1975 D. Lincoln penny. This seemingly ordinary coin holds a value that might surprise you. So, let's uncover the story behind this penny, why it's so valuable, and how you can find it in your own collection. To understand the significance of the 1975 D. Lincoln penny, let's first take a step back and explore the history of the Lincoln penny itself. 
The Lincoln Penny was first issued in 1909 to commemorate the 100th anniversary of Abraham Lincoln's birth. Designed by Victor David Brenner, the coin features a profile of Lincoln on the obverse and a depiction of the Lincoln Memorial on the reverse. Over the years, the Lincoln Penny has undergone several design changes, but the core of its value lies not only in its design but also in its mintage and condition. Now, let's focus on the 1975 D. Lincoln Penny. The D mint mark indicates that this coin was minted in Denver. In 1975, the U.S. Mint produced over 436 million pennies, making it a common year for Lincoln pennies. However, not all pennies are created equal. Among these, a few exceptional examples exist, particularly in uncirculated or proof condition. What sets the 1975 D penny apart is its rarity in high grade condition. While most 1975D pennies can be found for just a few cents, uncirculated versions can fetch prices in the thousands, depending on their grade and demand. So, what is the current market value of the 1975D Lincoln penny? As of now, a typical circulated 1975D penny is worth its face value one cent. However, if you have an uncirculated version or one in mint condition, the value skyrockets. Collectors are willing to pay anywhere from $50 to as much as $2,000 or more for these pristine coins, the highest auction records for this penny have reached impressive figures, often driven by collectors looking to complete their sets or invest in rare coins. The most notable sales have occurred in recent years, indicating a growing interest in coin collecting and numismatics as a whole. If you want to determine whether your 1975 D. Lincoln penny could be worth more than a cent, here are a few tips on how to identify a valuable example of one. Inspect the coin for wear and tear. An uncirculated coin will show no signs of wear, while a circulated coin will have noticeable scratches and marks. Point two. A valuable coin should have a bright, shiny surface with a good deal of original luster. If it looks dull or tarnished, its value may be lower. Point three. Sometimes, specific minting errors can increase a coin's value significantly. Look for any double strikes or unusual features that may indicate it's a rare error coin point four. If you believe your penny is in excellent condition, consider having it graded by a professional grading service. A higher grade can significantly increase its market value. For collectors out there, the 1975 D. Lincoln penny can be an exciting addition to your collection. Here are a few tips to help you maximize your collecting experience. 1. Keep up with the latest trends in coin collecting. Join forums, subscribe to numismatic publications, and attend coin shows to learn more about your passion. Point two. Building relationships with other collectors can provide you with insights into valuable coins and market trends. Networking can also help you find opportunities to buy or trade coins. Point three. Ensure that your coins are stored properly to maintain their condition. Use coin holders, albums, or flips that protect the coins from environmental damage. Point four. The market can fluctuate, so patience is key. Prices may rise and fall, and a coin that is worth less today might become more valuable in the future. In conclusion, the 1975 D. Lincoln penny is more than just a piece of change, it's a potential treasure hiding in plain sight. Whether you have one in your pocket or you're on the lookout for uncirculated examples, understanding its value and rarity can enhance your appreciation for this classic coin. Not if you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about other valuable coins or tips for collecting, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell. Thank you for joining us today, and we're diving into the fascinating world of rare coins with a focus on the 2013 Lincoln penny without a mint mark. Now, this may seem like an ordinary penny at first glance, but believe me, there's more to it than meets the eye. So, why is the 2013 Lincoln penny with no mint mark worth more than its face value? Let's break it down. First off, no mint mark means this coin was struck at the Philadelphia Mint. Normally, pennies from Philadelphia don't have a mint mark, and millions of these coins are produced every year. But what makes certain 2013 no mint mark pennies special is their rarity and pristine, uncirculated condition. Most pennies, especially from recent years, are subject to everyday wear and tear. They pass through hands, registers, and wallets, accumulating scratches, nicks, and grime. However, if you're lucky enough to find a 2013 penny that's remained in perfect condition, often called mint state or MS, it can be worth much more than a penny. In the world of coin collecting, grading is crucial. The condition of a coin is ranked on a scale from 1 to 70, with 70 being a perfect, flawless coin. 
The higher the grade, the more valuable the coin. A 2013 Lincoln Penny in MS67 or MS68 condition can sell for a premium on the collector's market. Some of these coins have been known to fetch around $50 or even more, depending on the demand. Now, you might be thinking, how do I know if my penny is worth more than face value? The key is to look for a coin in almost perfect condition. It should have sharp, clear details, a strong shine, and minimal signs of wear. If you think you have a coin that fits this description, it may be worth sending it to a professional coin grading service, such as PCGS or NGC, to get an official grade. Another factor that can increase the value of a 2013 penny is errors. Coin errors are mistakes made during the minting process, such as double strikes, die cracks, or off-center coins. These errors are rare and can make a seemingly common coin worth hundreds, if not thousands, of dollars. So, be sure to inspect your pennies carefully. One of the most sought-after types of errors is the double die error, where the design appears to be duplicated or overlapped. Finding a 2013 penny with this kind of error could turn your small find into a valuable collectible. As with any collectible, the market value of a coin is determined by what collectors are willing to pay. While a 2013 Lincoln penny with no mint mark may typically go for face value, in certain conditions or with specific errors, it can be worth significantly more. Auctions and online platforms like eBay often show these coins selling for anywhere from a few dollars to much higher amounts. So, if you've got some spare change lying around, it's worth taking a closer look. You never know, you might have a valuable 2013 Lincoln penny hiding in plain sight. Thanks for tuning in, coin collectors. If you enjoyed this video or learned something new, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more coin facts, tips, and history. And as always,